Oh, what did they call them? Like, like the, the dudes who are out around by Mark Hearth. The, like, weird-looking dudes who had, like, weird heart shit going on. The Corridors of Dark Salvation. <laughs> My god. Lord Dagon. Definitely a Reaper main. Definitely a Reaper main. <laughs> shit. Dude just starts going up in there. Tracer, I need you to do the ult. <laughs> no, no, he, he, Lord Dagon would come on there and be like... <laughs> I want the Graviton Surge, Zarya! I want the Graviton Surge! I'm gonna use my old Zarya, you better Graviton! Pull them all, all together! Reinhardt, what the hell are you doing? Put the shield up, Reinhardt! Blah! Hey gang, what's good? Welcome back to Oblivion. Look at this gross shit, by the way. Look at this gross meat sack, dude! Look at it, it's moving, man! It moves! Ugh! I didn't know they moved like that! Oh my god, that is gnarly as hell! I probably re realized that a while ago in like one of my old playthroughs, but holy shit, I forgot about it! Ugh! <laughs> Disgusting! Anyway, let's go on up in here and, uh, grab ourselves a fantastic, beautiful stone! One of old Lord Dagon's kidney stones. He's thrown it up into... Oh, God, that is... <laughs> that is foul! Uh, straight out of old Lord Dagon's prostate, his... His, uh... Well, wherever you would want it. <laughs> maybe, maybe Lord Dagon gets kidney stones that come out of his mouth. Maybe that's how it works. Maybe they come... Who knows? He shoots them out of his wrist like Spider-Man. <laughs> oh, God. This is gross. This is nasty. What a nasty start to this. Lord Dagon, you're gross. You're gross as hell, man. Do these move? Are these throbbing ever so slowly? Let's look. I don't think so. All right. <laughs> fine, fine, fine. It's all good. Ooh, God. Jeez. God, I hate those things. They're honestly my least favorite part. These, uh... Fucking whip your hair back and forth sorts of vines. Good lord. Anyway, let us quick save here and maneuver our way up into the great... Th the, the tower. Into the tower. My god. You gotta love how, um... Like, in, uh... I think we touched on this, how uh, in a lot of areas in Oblivion, a lot of the, um... The world design and stuff is all very soft. And you can still see it kind of here in some of the rocks and stuff. But even... To, to sort of make it match up with the rest. But even so, there's a lot of, um, like, jaggedness. There's a lot of, like, um, I don't know, it's a lot more sharp. Even though, on on closer inspection, it's not super sharp. It's not like a, an old, well, yeah, look at that. that. That is pretty sharp. But, uh, uh yeah, it's a, it's a nice little differential to make you really feel like you're in a different place. A lot of things are, are built a lot more sharply. These these sorts of lines there down the middle of all these things make it look like, oh, this is very harsh and a harsh area. Oh my gosh, oblivion. Look, even the door is very sharp. It's very, very sharp everything. Sh sharpness. <laughs> Should we take these? Should we take these? Mm, why not? Why not? Worst case scenario, we just drop them. All right, let's head on up in here. Gordon on the left, uh, Baron Zaya on the right. Boom. Here I am, baby. Uh-oh. We got a titty, titty lord. Got a couple of them. All right, you know what? Hey, we're going all out now. We're within the, uh, the plundering halls. It's time to fuck. That's what I have to say. It's time to fuck. Let's charge this baby up. Uh, we're kind of wasting if we do another common. Let's just do a, uh, do we have, like, a petty or lesser? <laughs> God. Look at these fucking greater soul gems that we just looted from wherever. And they only have petty souls in them. What a waste. Look at that. At the same time, we are clearing up our inventory quite a fair bit. Alright. Let's quick save and let's have a major monster jam. Alright, let's see if- Oh, we can't sneak up on him. Alright, fine. Fine. It's been done! Slaying ya! Slaying ya! Slaying ya! Oh, you've been slain! Alright, how about you? Ooh! Slain you in your booty butt! Oh god, she's too speedy! There we go! Slain! Woo! Oh my god, good job, Gordon. I don't even know where you went. Oh shit! Gordon pulled a whole bunch of dudes! Oh god! Ooh. Oh god! Does he not get- Ooh! Okay! Yep! Here! <laughs> uh, let's pop in another Petty Souls. Let's- Let's, uh, charge our shit up! Let's get charged! 
Uh, let's see, a greater one? Can we fit a greater... Eh, we're wasting a little tidbit. Let's, uh, let's plug in a few of these. Mmm, your souls shall be my dinner! Ugh! <laughs> Fuck you! <laughs> I love how they go flying into the damn sky when you get them. Alright, restore health 20 points. Sure, don't mind if I do. Alright, do we have an opportunity here to wait? Good lord! Maybe that guy spied us from atop here. Look at that. Really looks like, a that, uh, one point from the beginning of old Half-Life, huh? With the old, uh, what do you call it? Oh my god, I forgot what it was called. The Covalescence? The... The super thing, the shit that goes wrong at the very beginning. Started with a C, didn't it? The convalescence, the, uh... The, I don't know. Some terrible shit. Some terrible, terrible stuff. Anyway, oh yeah, it's also depicted in that quest art that we really liked. The, yeah, look at that, yeah, that's it. Ha! Huh, look at that! Oh, I love that. I love that shit. Something like, on top of a mountain, just shooting up like that, like a big beam of power or whatever. I don't know. Fantastic trope. Alright. Magicka Essences at the ready, in case we need to really spam out a Gordon, we can just kite dudes down here. But you know what? We may not need to. Into the rending halls, right? Is that what these are called? Good lord. Good loud. Alright, yes. The rending halls. I'm ready to rend. Now, are these ones the pincers? Ooh, are they the pincers? No, okay. That's really scary, though, that there's like, um... It looks like they might be, but they aren't. Thank god. Holy wackadoo. Alright. Let's head on up in here. Once again, very sharp, pointy stuff all over the place. It makes you think, oh, if I touch that, I'm gonna get hurt. Uh oh, and there's some foul bastard. Oh, shit. All right. Open wide. What is he implying? I don't... Oh, God. Oh, God. Man. All right, I opened very wide. <laughs> all right. Jeez. Uh, let's see. Let's get ourselves some of these. Let's see. Let's enchant the shit out of that. There we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Alright. I'm powered up, baby. Let's see. Oh, also, power that shit up, too, with a hammer. Alright, let's quick save. Let's get Gordon out preemptively. That way, Gordon can do, like, a super shake. Do the super shake, Gordon! Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it! Ooh, yes! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. There's a little lady coming out! She's gonna poke you in the tail, Gordon! She's trying to go up your anus! Look out! Don't worry, Gordon, I'm here to help! I'm here to help! Ooh! <laughs> <Woo. laughs> oh, it never gets old. Alright. His heart. Oh, we never, um... Uh... Oh, yeah, these are like the bad shitty ones, aren't they? Yeah, they're not actually Daedric weapons. This was, um... When I was first disappointed. I first realized how disappointed I was with how they, uh decide to handle uh, the sort of loot that you get. Because, like, in Morrowind, if you had killed this guy, you would be- this would just be a straight-up Daedric Claymore. This is, but this is a Dramora Claymore, which is like a, a crappy version of that. That's meant to uh, just be like a fun-looking weapon for that dude. Which, you know what? Honestly, although uh, it felt crappy at the time, it makes a hell of a lot of sense for balance. And they carried that tradition on with um, Skyrim Land. Where a whole fuck ton of dudes just carry around like crap versions of uh, cool weapons, or even like high powered dudes instead of carrying around like, ooh, they've got like an ebony super sword. They're just carrying around like some sort of like, um, oh, what did they call them? Like, like the the dudes who are out around by Markarth, the like weird looking dudes who had like weird heart shit going on. The corridors of dark salvation. <laughs> My God, Lord Dagon, definitely a Reaper main. Definitely a Reaper main. <laughs> Shit. Dude just starts going up in there. Tracer, I need you to do the ult. <laughs> no, no, he, he, Lord Dagon would come on there and be like, <laughs> I want the Graviton Surge, Zarya! I want the Graviton Surge! I'm gonna use my ult, Zarya, you better Graviton! Pull them all, all together! Reinhardt, what the hell are you doing? Put the shield up, Reinhardt! <laughs> <laughs> the fucking Lord Dagon. For Lord Dagon, damn. Alright, is this just looping back around? Oh, jeez. Alright. Let's let's also repair that up. Good lord, I almost forgot. Alright, yeah, looks like we do have to go into the damn dark halls of salvation. Alright, let's pop up here. See what's going on. Into his dark halls. Or his halls of dark salvation. Trick or treat, you sick bastard. What's going on, dude? Let's see. 
We got any friends up here? There's a titty lady for sure. Let's get a Gordon guy. Get him, Gordon! There you go, do your sh super fun shake dance. Alright, we're gonna slam out a few attacks here. Oh, we're out of charge. Alright, that's fine, that's fine. Let's see. Oh, gosh, almost got me. Alright, let's see. Well, do we have any empty souls besides that grand one? Because I'm not sure if these uh, titty spiders are actually um, lower level souls. They might not be grand. I'm not sure. Alright, let's just juice up here big time. We're juicing. Yeah. Hell yeah. Jack LaLanne, hit me up, baby. Eh, that's... Uh, yeah, it's good enough for now. No more juice. Juice be gone. Alright. Do some swinging swipes. Some slashy slips. Alright. Grabbing that. Oh, she had a spoon! Wow, she was doing the, uh... <laughs> the heroin in meth. Jeez. Alright. Let's pop this sucker open. Grab some of this. Mmm. Good, good, good. Alright. Stunted scamp. A bone! Oh, man. The sc <laughs> what an idiot! Jeez. Maybe some other adventurer had come through- No, because we saw the other adventurer in here, and he did not come up through this area at all. <laughs> Poor guy. Oh, man. Oh, look! We need a magical key to enter. All right. Here, let's repair up. There we go. Let's get on up out here. There we go. Cannot be picked! I need a key! Oh, well, shit! Who has the key? Let's see. Let's track the quest. Let's see, um, I need to go into the obli- Yeah, I figured it out, I've done it. I've done it all. Let's see. Oh, jeez. What a map. Is this it? Oh, okay, great! Yeah, the key must be inside of one of these things. Alright. If anything, the trouble is, is like, the only- they, These doors don't stand out as much. Although they do have this big strip in the middle, that's really what you gotta look out for if you're looking for a- A door within the plane of oblivion, huh? Alright. Let's do a save. Now, don't these, like, retract and stuff? Isn't that what these things do, or am I mistaken? I could have sworn I remembered these things moving. Huh. Maybe they do. Maybe they will. I don't know. It's been a while! Reapers sprawl! Oh, yeah! In the gate. <laughs> oh, shit. Over here! What? Oh, man! What? Hey, what's up? Oh, shit! Uh-oh. Mm, no combat music. What is this? Sigil Keeper. Look out! Me and my sigils three. Oh, there he goes. Gordon, are you are you okay? Sorry, I hit a little bit of friendly fire there. Oh look. All right, I got the key, man. Good luck. Good luck, dude. Oh jeez, look at this bald asshole. Menin Gonel, what's up, dude? Are you <laughs> you gonna be okay? Uh, I think this guy is not gonna make it out of here. Quickly, quickly. There's no time. Oh. You must get to the top of the large tower. The sigil keep, they call it. That's what keeps the oblivion gate open. How do you know this Find shit? Find the sigil stone. Remove it and the gate will close. Hurry, the keeper has the key. You must get the key. Man, this dude read the Prima Guide. You don't want to get out of here? You might be able to climb, dude. I can give you some healing potions or something. And you can just take the damage and tank it. <laughs> take the key. Get to the sigil keep and... It's Don't the only worry way. about me, there's no time! Get moving! What? Oh, man! Jeez! This guy is really in a way. Can we pickpocket him? No, he doesn't have anything. Alright. Do you want me to give you something, dude? Do you want this? Do you want the- Oh, shit. Whoops. Whoops, whoops, whoops. Oh, good lord, I accidentally took it. Look. Good lord, there we go. Whew! Alright, here, man. Do you- Do you want this thing? Here, I'll- I'll give this to you, just in case you need this. Oh, shit. Oh shit, where'd it go? <laughs> God, this is dumb. Here, man, here! Get to the sigil keep. Oh, uh, I'm trying to give you a sword! A mace, even! Oh, God! Oh, it won't go in there! Oh, um, whoops! Hey, I couldn't do it! Good luck, I, I killed the guard, at least. You don't want any food? You gonna eat the bones? Okay. Good luck! Take care, man! You know, what's gonna happen when I do that? You're still gonna be in here! What's gonna happen to you? Are you gonna, like, implode? Jeez. Jeez. This guy is very self-destructive, honestly. He's a master of destruction. Alright. Is there anything down here worth looking at? Is there any sort of, like, titty lady down here? Let's take a look. Let's take a look. Uh, let's see. Can we- Oh! There is an evil Gordon. There is some sort of foul summoner. Let's see. Does this actually work on them? I can't remember. Oh, look. It does. It absolutely fucking does. 
Are they attacking? Oh, look! They're fighting each other! Is he a fight? Oh! Oh, God! All right. Fight each other! You damn fools! There we go! Look at that! Oh, this is good! Yeah! Because they're humanoid, right? They're not actually classified as, uh, demonic or whatever, aren't they? There you go. I mean, perhaps can't canonically they are, but, uh... Within the confines of the game mechanics, they are not. Or maybe they are! Maybe this is what will happen to this guy. He'll become one of them. Oh, man. Look at him go, dude. This dude is slamming and jamming. All right, let's see. Can we throw our own Gordon down there? Get him, Gordon! Get him, Gordon, get him! Let's see. Go, go, go! No? Nothing? All right, Gordon doesn't give a shit. We'll call up the elevator. All right. Such a classic role-playing game trope. Having a fight on an enormous elevator going somewhere. Good lord. Alright, Gordon. I guess I'm just gonna handle this shit by myself while you run the fuck away. Thanks. Jeez. We gotta be careful to get off of here before we get, uh, impaled. Oh! There's a fiery gal! Alright. There you go, Gordon. Give that ugly bastard a smackaroo! Ooh! Gordon, you're caught on the gear! Oh, Gordon, be careful. You're getting impaled. Oh, jeez, Gordon. I'll help you out. There we go. Whoa. All right. A Daedroth. One of friend of yours, Gordon? No? Okay, good. Voice of Rapture. Charm. Flawed Sapphire. Oh, God! Oh, no, wait! Oh, no, wait! Oh, God! Jeez. Okay, well, you know what? We're down here for a bit. <laughs> Bye, Gordon! Get the Sigil Stone! <laughs> Alright, let's bring this sucker back down here. Jeez, I'm Pete. What do you think they do with these? You have people in there? I don't know. Oh, look, it didn't come back down. We gotta do it again. There we go. Look at this. N nice embroidery work there, Lord Dagon. Damn, dude. Alright. Let's see. Here we go. And weirdly, I don't know how this even works, but you can actually, like, press E on this shit. I don't know. Maybe it's like pressure sensitive and you like stomp your foot down. Like a you like a game with a good stomp. I feel like too many games ignore the ability to stomp or kick, especially first person games. Good lord. Man, that's what I want. New feature added in the Elder Scrolls 6. The ability to kick a fool. Just kick people. Just kick and stomp at them. You know what game had really good stomping and kicking? Just fucking excellent stomping and kicking. I can't remember if I talked about this before, but if I did, it, it bears worth mentioning twice. Fucking the old Dead Space games. Dead Space 1 through 3. My god, you could stomp up a damn storm. Holy shit, the stomping was so good. Oh my god. It was both a combination of fear and anger. Every stomp. It was just like a sort of horrific stomp of, of hell, honestly. Great shit. Great work. Great stuff. Let's go in here. Is this the main area? Ooh, I don't know. Ooh, I don't know. Maybe we need to go inside this one. That one seemed like a bit more of the main area because it's going up higher, right? Let's go inside this one. This little hall door. Maybe this one also goes up. Oh, yeah, it looks like it. Let's see. Anybody up in here? Hello? Let's see. Oh, let's also repair up. Should we, uh, suck a few souls, too? Should we do a quick sucky sucky? Let's see. Let's look at this shit. There we go. Oh, yeah, look, we are dry as a goose. All right. Throw that stuff in there. Ba-boom. ba, -boom, ba -booyah. Oh, excellent. Let's quick save. Oh, look. Oh, it's a titty spider. There are a dime a dozen up here in Lord Dagon's hellish halls of doom and destruction. The titty spiders run free. Let's see. The blood feast. Mmm. Sounds kind of delicious, honestly. All right, let's go back down here, though, and have a, a peekaboo and see what's on the other side of this one. Let's see. Oh, oh. I like how he's also got the, uh, the symbol right there, just in case you forgot where you were. <laughs> Lord Dagon, the number one interior designer of, uh, <laughs> of all the planes of Oblivion. <laughs> all right. There we go. Oh, there we are. Yep, come on, Gordon. Across that- Oh, Jeez, Gordon! Oh, this ain't good! This isn't looking good for Gordon! Oh, no! Oh, Gordon, don't stand there! Oh, there we go, Gordon. Yeah, there you go. Don't stand- Okay, yeah. Here, I'll- I'll help. I'm helping, Gordon! I'm helping! Woo! 
Alright, good teamwork. It makes the dream work. There we go. Ugh. Alright. <sighs> Jeez. <laughs> Just kind of preemptively wince if, <laughs> if for what's coming. Alright. Let's see, is there anything down here? Any secret goodies galore? Oh, it is another titty spider. Oh, and what's this? Oh, is this... Oh, there we go. Look out, you foul bastard! Yes! Oh, there we go! Are they... Does this one do anything? Oh, jeez. Oh, there we go. Okay. Good stuff. Here, should we charge up again? Let's charge up again. Um... That might... Be... No, that's fine. Okay, there we go. Alright. Gordon, come on. Come on, Gordon. Get to the... Get to the main boss. The main enemy. The main attraction. There we go. Oh, Gordon, careful. Careful, you're you're being distracted. It's a distraction. Oh, jeez. Get in there, Gordon. Oh, man, we're like two summoners. We're both two summoners fighting one another. Look at this. Good lord. I bet she didn't even name her little baby mini-me version. All right. You know what? Let's, let's get on up in there. Let's also help out Gordon. Let's take the extra step here to get the job done. There we go. Job's done. Let's see. Let's whip out a nice torch. Oh, oh God. <laughs> it scares me, okay? Oh, it scares me. <laughs> let's see. Are there any fantastic woot loots within? I hope so. Oh, let's see. Oh, it's an evil Gordon. What do you know, Joe? Good, go good Gordon. Evil Gordon. Is there a word? Uh, there is there like a synonym for evil that begins with G? I don't know, I like the alliteration. You know what, they they were just at a fucking standstill. I'm just gonna come in here and slice his butt. <laughs> Alright, there we go, good shit. Good job, Gordon, you tanked him, I think. Alright, let's see, anything else? Yeah, you did tank him, Gordon, what am I saying? The best, everybody knows the best tanks do it without even taking fucking damage. Hot damn. Alright. You know what, I always felt like, uh, for a while, especially during, like, uh, in World of Warcraft, during, like, Wrath of the Lich King, I played a paladin tank. I was a... I was a paladin fucking tank, and I loved it. And I felt like so often people blame their healers for when tanks were the ones who were actually fucking up and just doing more than they should. I always felt a little, a little bit of MMO commentary there. <laughs> commentary on the state of the game. <laughs> All right. Gordon, mess him up. Mess him up, Gordon. All right. Let's also do some of this. I wonder if that's still the case. I don't know. It's been a while. All right. Let's see, Gordon. Oh, good shit, Gordon. Look, I didn't even need to use my sword. Oh, Dramora Knievel. <laughs> it's evil Knievel! Shit! Oh, whoa! Yes, please! Oh, my goodness! Let's see, 14? 17? Oh, yes! Yes, yes, yes! Mm -mm 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 -mm. I love an amulet! From an evil Knievel. Let's grab a calm spell. Ooh, look. Ooh, he's got his jelly jams down there. Oh, heat of sinfulness. Can we carry that around? Yeah, we can. Oh, a weakness to fire. Huh. I guess maybe that was to, like, knock people up into this shit. Look at it. It's really, uh... The lift appears to be too damaged for any further use. Jeez, Lord Dagon, you need to get some repairs going on here. You need a repair hammer. Grabbing your gold. Let's see, how about in this? The Punished. Oh, fuck. Okay, we'll take these arrows. Man, the uh, Elven Battle Axe is actually pretty garbage for value. Uh, it's it's barely over ten times, right? Look at that. Let's see. Yeah, this one is way better. Hmm. Then again, the Heat of Sinfulness really ain't, <laughs> really ain't all that, is it? All right, you know what? Sorry, Heat of Sinfulness. Eat a butt. We're grabbing another uh, el we're gr or elven battle axe. Did I say ebony? My bad. All right. Let's uh, repair up here. Nope, we don't need to. We already did it. Yep, doesn't do anything. All right. Ooh, look at me. I'm so daring. Look out, evil Knievel. I'm your usurper. Look out, I'm the usurper. I'm here to usurp. All right, let's get the hell up out of here. Man, who do you think hangs all these corpses up here? I don't know. Maybe the spider ladies do. Maybe these aren't ropes, but uh, like they're spider juice. They're spider juice. They're, uh, they're webbing. There you go. <laughs> That's like the the second time, right? That I, I didn't know what spider webbing was. <laughs> what the fuck? Look out, Lord Dagon! A fucking dumbass is here to kill you. He's here to plunder your riches. Oh, man. Oh, man. Uh, also, 
our freaking uh, little special torch thing has gone out. Let's get a new one. We got like 500 of them. There we go. Great. <laughs> oh, man. All right, let's get on up there and hope for a fantastic sigil stone surprise. Ooh, what will we get? Ooh, I'm excited. Let's heal up as well. We got just a little tiny bit missing. There we go. I like how we can actually um, recharge our weapon mid-combat. That's going to be very useful. All right, anybody up here? There is somebody. Oh, look, there he is. All right. Let's go, a battle of summoners. There we go. Chase after him, Gordon! Look at him go! <laughs> oh, shit. Ooh, yeah. Oh, shit. Yo, this dude is using my tactics! What the hell? Alright. Ooh. Uh, Dramora kin, kin Marcher. Do you think that's related to Welkind? Nah, eh, probably not. Probably just a Kawinky Dink, right? Alright, a Staff of Lightning. Very, very frightening. Magicka, weak potion of strength. Rip out your heart. Uh, Voice of Dread. Never gonna use that one. Look at that. It's only level 5. Jeez, come on. Step it up, Lord Dagon. Don't you know I'm like level 5 bazillion now? Level 5 stuff ain't even gonna work on me. Alright. It's weird that they even have those scrolls, you know? Kinda, kinda bizarre. Eh, oh well. I, I want, can they even use them on you? Or do the, does the AI recognize that it's useless to even do it? I don't know. Here we go. Up again, another level. There's some sort of foul knave here. I don't know, but I'm gonna... Take a look inside of this little sweet puppy. Alright, looks like... Oh, there's a titty spider. Woo! Oh my god. Alright, Gordon. Have at thee. There you go, Gordon. Shake shake those bones. Oh, jeez, Gordon. Okay, but you're also kind of blocking the major path here. Oh, jeez. Here, Gordon, can I do like a secret jump around? Here, I'm gonna try and jump around town. Oh, there we go. Alright, Gordon, I'll take her out. You tank the little one. There I go! Ooh, yes! Alright. Great stuff. Fantastic. Alright, another quick save. Whew! Let's see, we're getting close up here. Up to the Devil's Anus. <laughs> My god. If you haven't seen Thor Ragnarok, holy shit, it's out on Netflix now. Fuck me. It is so fucking good. One of my best friends, his, like, uh, his favorite Marvel characters are, like, uh, Thor and the Hulks, and this is just, like, instantly, he saw this movie, and it was just, like, instantly his fucking favorite, uh, Marvel movie ever. Holy shit. Man. I don't know. I, f <laughs> I fucking love superhero bullshit. You should know this by now. It's it's absolutely 100% my jam. I apparently, also, uh, fucking Thor Ragnarok was on Netflix for uh, non-US areas way, way, way before, and I was so fucking bummed because I wanted to re-watch re it because I loved it so much. Alright. Let's see. Um, should we recharge our shit? Yes. The answer is yes. Especially since we're up here at the Super Showdown uh, Deluxe, right? Let's get charged, baby. Uh, let's see. Gosh, we're having a lot of things to where it's like, I can't just quickly do this without uh, thinking. All right, let's see. How much have we got? Boom. There we go. Great. All right. Ooh, he's very close. What did he say? Break clean. Ooh. Oh, look. Where is this dude? Gordon, do you see this guy? Let's go fuck him up. Hell yeah, Gordon, look. We're doing our mighty crusade against Lord Dagon's foul bastards. Uh-oh. Which foul bastard are we going after, Gordon? The wrong one, apparently. There we go. Oh, shit! Oh, my God! Did he reflect me? Did he spell reflect me? Oh, fuck. Well, that's something we gotta really watch out for, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> All right, sure. Let's see. Here we go. Gordon, you gotta be up on top of this guy because he's gonna try and get out a summon. What did you call me, you sick bastard? All right, Gordon, there we go. Here, I'm quick saving. That way I can just be sure that I'm not about to reflect my ass. Oh, shit, I'm doing it. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, God, this is bad. Oh, Gordon. Gordon, Gordon. I'm gonna try and jump down. Is it gonna kill me? It did. <laughs> Fuck. All right, Gordon, here we go. Look, I can't fight this guy. You have to fight this guy, Gordon. I'll fight this one, but not the other one. I think he's got like some sort of reflect magic. There you go, Gordon. Mess him up, mess him up. Give him a bite, give him a slap. Ooh, ooh. Let's see, if I if I use my um 
this lightning staff. Does it reflect range? Oh, shit. <laughs> Good job, Gordon. Fuck me. All right, look, I didn't even need to answer that question. All right, great. Let us re-equip. Boom. There we go. Repair up. Oh, he smacked me in my noggin. All right, what do you got? Ebony dagger. Ooh, look at that. Oh, man. We're taking it. All right, let's... Oh, whoops, 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 whoops. Oh, God. Oh, God. What have I done? There we go. Whoa. All right, let's stash all these dumbass arrows. Steel longsword. Nope, sorry. You'll be remembered. I don't, I don't remember him. <laughs> What's his name? <laughs> all right. Uh, his chainmail. Yep. Maybe he just never existed. I don't know. Let's see. It might be... Like, these are actually pretty... Eh, no, they aren't. Fuck it. Look at that. They, yeah, this one barely even adheres to the ten times rule. All right. Um, let's see. What else do we have that we can dump? Man, look at that. That is rad as hell. I mean, I don't know. Absorption is also pretty good for just getting free magicka, huh? But reflection is probably gonna end up doing more damage to the enemy over time, right? I think so. But either way, right now we just want whichever one mitigates more damage, right? All right. Let us see. What can we do a nice dump of here? Ooh. I need to take a dump, but I'm not sure what. Oh, we could dump the Elven Battle Axe. We could. Look, let's dump the Elven Battle Axe and take back the arrows. Boom. There we go. We can even take back the chainmail. There we go. That makes a lot more sense. All right. Fantastic. Let's see. Did we already looted this guy? Nope, not fully. Chameleon, 25%. Dramora is Claymore, the Punished. Maybe this is what people become. They become these. I don't know. I don't like that it has like a a, a proper noun sort of name like that. I don't know. I really appreciate um, sort of weird proper nouns and stuff uh, for everyday items and all that stuff in uh, fantasy and science fiction and all that. Very fun. I was listening to a podcast recently where they were talking about it. I was like, you know what? I absolutely agree. It's awesome. All right. I think they were talking about in uh, regards to that uh, Cyberpunk 2077 game, which looks like it's going to be fucking dope as hell. Talking about like, uh, oh, yeah, we're jacking in with a, a cyber blade. But it sounded, it sound, it was whatever the word was, it was way cooler than that. <laughs> all right. Let's see. Ain't, did we check out this one over here? Yeah, we did. All right. That's all of them. Climbing on up this big old nasty beef jerky looking shit. Man, no. If this were beef jerky, oh man, it is severely underdone. Ugh. Ugh. It even sounds like a meat. All right, what have we got up in here? Warhammer of blizzards. Oh my God, every time you use it, a little Mike Morheim fires out and starts wrestling people. All right. Shit. Remember when we stashed away a whole bunch of stuff? We're gonna need to do that again. All right, let's see. What can we stash away? Huh, let's get rid of these. Let's see. Where are those arrows? Dumping them. Oh, fuck. We still have a whole lot more that we need to dump. Okay, let's see. Uh, we could dump this hat, I guess. This thing. Huh, do we have like a fortify strength or anything like that? Let's see. If we don't, we may have to leave uh, some dumb shit. We could dump a whole lot of fortif uh, restore fatigue. We don't really use them anymore. Let's see. Hmm. It still seems to be nowhere near enough. Potion of Might? No, that's restore strength. I mean, our strength hasn't been drained. It's mostly our endurance, right? Let's see. Potion of Fortify Strength. See, this was one of the fun things. Oh, there we go! Hey! Babuya! Excellent. All right. But that was one of the fun things in uh, Morrowind, was that all the alcohol was um, fortify strength. Well, almost all of it had fortify strength on it. That way you could... Uh... Oh, look, another Grand Soul Gem. That way you could easily just um, booze up if you had a big loot haul. So it was actually efficient to, like, bring booze with you to different places. It's like booze out and all that sort of shit. But then again, that was also kind of invalidated by the fact that, you know, you could just teleport fucking anywhere, anytime, for the most part. All right, let's see. Let's down this potion. All the way at the bottom. Weak potion of strength. Ba-boom! Let's see. How many more things can we carry now? 
Uh, let's see. Let's get some of these. We should just sell these off, honestly. Let's take them back. Let's take this hat. Let's take these back. There we go. And all this stuff. Our, oh, nope, we're off by a bit. We are off by a damn bit. All right, potion of might? Nope. Let's see. Crab meat, of course. Delicious. All right, here we go. Big money, big money, big money, big money. We'll never know. Not until we get out. Oh, for not digging! <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> oh, oh shit. Oh, okay. Whoop. <laughs> Accidentally hit the scroll wheel. <laughs> I was like, oh, I didn't know it did this. <laughs> oh, man. All right. Great. We've solved all the mysteries. We've solved all the problems in Kavach. Everything is safe here now. We we don't have to do anything else in Kavach. I have closed the gate by taking this sigil stone that anchors it within oblivion. Oblivion. I should tell Savlian Matias that the way into Kavach is now open. Assuming he's even still- Oh, shit! Oh, good luck, Savlian! I'm kind of weighed down over here. <laughs> Fuck. All right. Let's see, what did our sigil stone become? Come on, baby. What did we get? Some goodies, I hope. Oh, transcendent sigil stone. Oh my god, it's like the worst fucking one. <laughs> Shit. All right, all right, fine. Fine, this is what we get. All right, fine. See if I give a damn. You know what, should we keep it? Eh, why not, we'll just keep it. We'll, we'll throw it in our stash or something. Why the hell not? Nah, you know what? Because if we enchant something with it, we'll get a fun sort of doohickey. We'll get some extra money out of it, won't we? Uh, let's see. Sell me. <laughs> there we go. Great. Is it worth more now? Let's take a look. Oh, yes. Yes, it is. Mm. All right. So we didn't get any woot loots, but we got some uh, fantastic uh, big bucks. Oh, jeez. Uh-oh. My potion is worn off. Oh, good God. All right. Uh, let's see. Blizzards, uh, Warhammer of the Glacier. Doink. Dropping it right there. All right. Let's see. Gordon, we have to help Savlian. He's about to die. Oh, there he goes. Oh, no, he's unconscious. Okay, great. Ooh. There we go. I hope this is evil, Gordon. There we go. Ooh, look. Prior Mabel is even getting on, in on the titty monster action. Jeez. Someone over there sounds pissed as hell. Oh, is that Savlian? Yeah, Savlian is back, baby. Careful, Prior Mabel. Don't you die! <laughs> oh, man. I love that shit. How are you, Prior? Okay, you're you're doing all right. You're doing all right. All right, where's the uh, the other loot loots that we have here to grab? Oh, some teeth. And was that it? Was it just the two of them? Maybe this one. This Daedroth. Yeah, there we go. Good shit. All right, let's also wait here for an hour. Heal on up. All right, let's see. What's up, Savlian? I'm not ready to head in just yet, though. I gotta say, I'm not ready just yet. You closed the gate. I knew you could do it. This is our chance to launch a counterattack. I need you to come with us. You've got far more combat experience than these men. Are you able to join us now? I can wait, but not for long. We've got to move quickly before they have a chance to barricade the city gate. Hmm. I do absolutely love that that is an option that you can just wait. I wonder if that was originally an option. Or maybe they play tested it and they realize, oh shit, a lot of players, when they get to this point, they just looted the hell out of the Oblivion Gate, and they're not yet ready to go inside and do this uh, rest part, the other part of the quest. Which is actually pretty lengthy. Alright, I'm not ready the yet. The longer we wait, the smaller our window of opportunity. Get ready. And do it quickly. We've got to move soon. All right, all right. I'll be right back, dude. Be quick about it. All right. Jeez. I was planning on doing this, like, in between videos or something. Oh, you know what? We can just have, like, a secret stash zone, right? We can just stash some stuff somewhere. Let's see. Where can we stash it all at? Um, uh-oh. Here, we can, like, bring down all of the stuff. Here we go. Yeah. Look at this. Oh. There we go. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Oh, jeez. Okay, here we are. Oh, great. Look at that, man. That This hammer actually looks pretty damn cool now that, <laughs> now that we have a good angle on it. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Uh-oh. 
Uh oh. Savlian, the Daedra! They're using some kind of force projection! Alright. Savlian, I'm coming back around. I was trying to take a shortcut, but it didn't work out. It didn't work out, man. Oh god. And the jumping is not conducive to the holding. Alright, you know what? We're just going down over here. Was there a vendor who bought, um, weapons and shit? I can't recall. You know what? If we really want this money, it may be in our best interest to just go back and vendor it. You know what? Fuck it! We're going to do vendoring! I'm going to do vendoring! You know what? I can't resist. I don't want to lose out on all this woot loot. Alright. Let's head on back to... Uh, let's just head back to Dunbarrow Cove. Easy access. I know that there's a vendor there who has a lot of money. Good stuff. We'll just do that real quick, we'll solve some bullshit real fast, and then we can head on up inside. See what sort of magical, horrific hells await. Within Kavach, the burnt town. My god. I'm surprised they didn't ever release, like, an official DLC that involved you rebuilding Kavach. Similar to, um, what do you call it, in, um, Skyrim, right? How there's never, like, an official DLC where in which you fix Helgen. Helgen is just always fucked up, no matter what. Hmm. I mean, there's, like, absolutely no shortage of unofficial mods from, uh, the modding community doing all that stuff, but, uh... I don't know. Just surprised that there's nothing official in which you do that, right? Seems like, uh, like an obvious thing. Eh, it is what it is. Alright. Let us head on. Yeah, also, hmm. So, yeah, there, there's... In both, uh, Oblivion and Skyrim, you... There's a early on town that's featured that gets totally fucked up during the main quest. Hmm, how about that? Alright, let's come on up in here. And... Let's see, here we are. I hope I can help. Yeah, I hope you can too. Actually, hang on. Bye. You're gonna help me a lot more when I give you well, a fist man. of musk. Alright, let's, let's do see. business. Yes, let's do... Oh wait, hold up, what are you selling here, pal? Oh jeez, oh jeez. Uh, Forest Stalker, Sneak 9... Nah, okay. Nothing much else. Alright. Fine, fine, fine. Let's also get rid of this blazing battle axe. Boom. That's Man, a he's, good deal. He can't even buy it completely. Jeez. Alright. Still, we're, we're in a hurry. And it's not exactly like we're hurting for money, huh? Alright. Warhammer of Blizzards. Yep, yep, yep. Get rid of all these. That's a fair deal. Oh, look. Mercantile went up. You got a great we could probably have equipped that. Oh shit, the great Oh my god, I forgot! Oh my god, I forgot! Oh jeez, Lord Dagon has played me again. Of course, we could have used that to carry out more bullshit. Alright. Jeez. I need to get into the habit of using uh the Grey Cal as like our booze. Look, after this, surely we'll remember. Surely we will remember for future reference. Alright. Good stuff. We do have a shitload of uh, ingredients and all that stuff, though. Another satisfied customer. All right. Yep. Sure thing, dude. <laughs> I thought I thought we knew each other. You know, I thought we were all part of the same pirate band, but I guess not. I get. Oh God, you scared me, dude. <laughs> what are you doing, skulking around like that? Training up your sneak or some shit? Damn. All right. Look like some kind of like horrific scamp wearing clothes. <laughs> Scarier than the naked scamps, honestly. All right. Let's head on up in here. Stash our dumb shit. Let's see. Where do we stash our ingredients at? I have a specific... There we go. All right. And... All of this shit. Boom. Bloodgrass. Ooh, good bloodgrass. There we go. Oh, man. Yeah, these clan fear claws are pretty heavy. So are the hearts, but I think that's a given. All right. The teeth? Eh, not so heavy. You'd think maybe they would be, because, you know, they might be, like, super dense or something. Filled with lead. Ogre's teeth are actually fucking heavy as shit now that, now that we look at it. Jeez. Why are Ogre's teeth so much more heavy than Daedroth teeth? Especially when you consider that Daedroth, I feel like, have way more teeth than Ogre's. Ah, oh, well. Weird shit. What are you gonna do? Oh, look. I think this thing keeps respawning. I feel like every month this thing, this uh, sword respawns on top of here. Because I moved it over here. That way this would just be a trophy area. Eh. All right. Let's quick save and get on back out there. Check out our sweet weapon. Good lord. We need to find a, a vendor who uh, accepts more stuff for when we uh, actually end up hurting for money. Because although we don't need money right now, 
Eventually, it'll be nice to have a shitload of gold for when we try to sell, uh, when we try to upgrade absolutely every, uh, building possible, right? All right, let's travel on out here. There we go. Let's see. I think, uh, when you have mercantile level to a certain point, you can also invest in shops. I think they started that in Oblivion? I don't know. Maybe that started with Skyrim. I can't recall. All right. Here we go. Goodies. All right, fantastic. Huh. Oh, hold up. Oh, shit. Okay. <laughs> I thought that was a, a dude. It was just a tree. Are you ready? We need to move out soon while we still have a chance to strike. I'm ready, dude. I'm ready. I'm ready as hell. Let's go. For Kavach! Oh, yeah, for Kavach. What's left of it? Let's do it, man! I like your gumption. All right. We got Gordon at the ready. Good lord. We're almost out uh, of super juice, though. So there'll be a resting point sort of in between here. Good god, man. All right. At least at this point, we have some NPCs who will help us. So they can sort of take the brunt. I have entered the ruined city of Kavach with Savli and Matias and his men. We must clear the southern plaza before the survivors in the chapel can be rescued. Come on, for Kavach! Yeah, come on, for Kavach! Come on! Oh, God! Oh, yeah, I forgot. They have reflection. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Ooh! There we go. All right. Let us recharge our weapon here. Let's see. Uh, Get some lesser souls up in there. Boom. Great. All right. Let's get Evil Gordon taken care of. There we are. Grab his teeth. Let's see. Let's help out our Gordon. Oh, shit. Is this guy about to be immune to our bullshit? Let's see. There we go. Oh, the weakness on it still works. Makes it effective. Oh, jeez. Oh, God. Ooh, we're getting a little low. All right, this is what we brought these uh, restore health potions for. Let's see, do we have any of the ones that do instant healing? Yes, we do. Hmm. Do we have like a strong potion of healing? Yeah. All right. Good stuff. There we go, slurping them up. All right, and let's get some of the overtime ones. Oh, whoops. All right. We're on potion cooldown. Hey, jeez. Oh shit, an evil man. All right, here we go. Whoop. Whoa. Oh, God. Oh, God. Jeez. All right. Fine. Let's see. Oh, man. I didn't get his spell absorption going. Oh, jeez. Good luck, Kavach. You're doomed. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Are they going to follow me out? Are they going to follow me out? Ooh, I don't know. I don't think so. No, they're not. All right. Good. Sure, we can just roll back up in here. <laughs> Fine. Savlin, don't worry, I've returned. I've only left you for about an hour. That's not too bad, right? Ooh, geez, careful, Savlin. All right, let's see. Let us get some of this healing going on. And let's get some more juice on our sword. Let's see here. Oh, man, we're almost out. Holy shit, already we're almost out. Okay. Ooh, jeez. Ooh, jeez, it's getting dicey. It's getting a little bit dicey. Oh, Savlian is unconscious again. Let's get some of this restore over time action. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. All right, here. Uh, more restore over time. Restore magic over time as well. Pop two. Oh, oh God. Oh, God. All right. Fine. Man, we should have saved all of our charges for here, where we had to fight multiple dudes at once. All right. Oh, jeez. All right, Gordon. Oh, look. It can't reach me, Gordon. It's up to you. Here, maybe we just need to run around and crowd control everything. Oh, nope. Too late. <laughs> Fuck me. Oh, shit. That's right. This guy is vulnerable to it. Right? That fucking guy. Oh. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, dear God. Woo! Jeez. Get another Gordon out here. All right. Is this guy... Oh, shit, he's resistant to a paralyze. 
We're learning stuff. We're learning stuff. It's fine. It's fine. All right. Ugh. All right. This guy paralyzing you. There we go. Oh, my God. It's like that Tom Cruise movie. All right. Here we go. Uh, let's pop some Magicka. Let's see. Restore Magicka over time. There we go. That's the good one. Doink. Whoops. That was the wrong fucking spell. There we are. Whoops. It affected Southling. <laughs> Sorry, man. Oh, jeez. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, jeez. All right. We getting him? Oh, fuck. Oh, good God. Gordon, Savlian, over here. They're on me. They're on me, fellas. Oh, Savlian is down. Savlian is down. All right. Let's see. Uh, restore health over time. Restore Magicka over time. Boom. The one-two punch. To victory! Oh, God. Ugh. She's mad as hell. She's mad as hell. She's mad as hell. Oh, Savlian. Oh, God. Oh, jeez. Okay. Whoa. Savlian is down a fucking gun. Jeez! All right, you know what? We have our... Yes! This shit! Some extra frosty damage. Ooh, that'll be great. Oh, this ain't great. Oh, God, the big man is fast. The big man is very fast. All right, let's see. Uh, let's get some healing. There we are. Well, that was hardly worth it at all. <laughs> okay, Savlin, it's up to you. You gotta save me. Look, I'm trying to save you. Now you gotta try and save me, man. That's how this works. Ooh, there we are. No! No, the big man! Oh! Oh, fuck him up! Fuck him up! Please! Oh, there we go. Oh, shit! He's got lightning? Well, that makes sense. <laughs> oh, he threw part of his chest at him. <laughs> Gordon, are you gonna take that? Fuck him up! Oh, shit! Uh-oh. Gordon? Uh... Here. <laughs> Wink. All right. Come on, Gordon, I can't attack him. He has, like, some sort of reflective damage aura. Oh, jeez, he's coming so fast! Oh, look at him go! He's like a whirling dervish! Oh, jeez. Oh, this is a real bad spot. Ah! Alright, round two. Oh, dear God. Look, he's really just locking on to me. Man, why does this guy have my number like this? Alright, Gordon... Come on, my last line of defense. Gordon, he's going around you! Oh, there you go. Fuck him up! Oh, shit! Oh, I've helped Savlian Matias and his men retake the Southern Plaza. I should talk to him about our next move. Great! Good job, Savlian! <laughs> Good thing he's indestructible. Jesus. Hold, Savlian. Can I... Can I steal from him? And just... Put that back, you worthless thief. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Savlian, what's up? That was pretty weird how you got knocked unconscious and it, seem it seemed like I stole from you. Isn't that weird? <laughs> got 13 bounty. <laughs> Fuck me. Hey, Savlian, what's up? Yeah, that was that's right. I definitely didn't steal anything from you. I definitely killed all these things by myself. <laughs> yeah, yeah, getting knocked unconscious, it really does things to your head. It's gotta be said. Are you okay? Are you okay? <laughs> we wiped the bastards out. Yes, we did! It's safe to pull those people out of the chapel. Let's get in there and make sure they're all right. Come on. This is only the beginning of the battle for Kavach. We can discuss the next phase once the civilians are safe. Right, right. All right, all right, here. Let's grab some of this loot loot. Let's see. And I think once we ensure the civilians are safe... We might go out and grab some more shit, and then return here. We might go get a Zero Star. Because that seems like a pretty fine stopping point is to, you know, ensure the safety of all the, uh, the civilians, and then, uh, come back here with some kind of fierce reckoning, right? Let's see. Ginseng? Oh, good stuff. Anything else around here? No. Oh, God! Oh, jeez! All right. I should probably quick save. I don't want to burn myself to death. All right, anything else around this area? Oh, look. Yeah, there's a treasure chest. An iron bow and steel arrows? Eh, not great, but I guess I'll take it. 
All right, anything else around here, like a jewelry box or anything? Doesn't look like it. Okay. Man, I'm getting flashbacks of playing New Vegas. <laughs> oh, shit. Someone's fucking head? Man, the twist here is that that's from before everything went to hell. Someone, some weird... <laughs> yeah, this would have just been some weird quest in Kavach. Why is there a beheaded head within this person's little back room? Who knows? You'll have to talk to Aurelius Maximus and figure out what the fuck's going on. Oh my gosh, it's a dark Daedric prince who's been up to some shenanigans. Good lord. Alright. Let's see, have we searched everything? Maybe? Oh, fuck. Look at that. <laughs> Alright. Sure. Let's continue over looking around this. Some ruins here that we can search. Are these... Okay, invisible wall. Yep, yep, yep. Let's see. Is that everything? A barrel? Nope, can't look in there. Alright, yeah, I think that's everything. Great. Let's quick save and head on in. Look at this dude's fucking Hulk hands. Damn. Alright, can't even drag it. Alright, let's roll on up in here. Say hello to the friends we know. Report, soldier. Sir, we're all that's left. Barak Inian, myself, and these civilians. That's it? There's no one else? There were others, sir, but they refused <laughs> to stay put. She has Not such a neutral delivery compared to Salvlian, who's like actually stressed I out. They didn't make it. Very well. The area outside the chapel has been cleared, and these people need to be taken to safety. Escort them to the camp south of here at once. But, sir, I want to help fight. <laughs> you will, sir. <laughs> Man. <laughs> once they're secure, get back here immediately. We'll need every available blade. There'll be plenty of fighting to go around. Sir, yes, sir. Ah, uh, we'll need every available blade. Do you think that's Let's like go. some foreshadowing there? It's gotta be. Hey, Savlian. What's up? You, you wanna talk or something? <laughs> Alright. <laughs> I heard about how you I thought we could talk I thought he would talk back. to us. Well done. <laughs> Alright. Hey, come with me. You're in danger. The Emperor told me to find you. Yeah, the Emperor told me to find you. The Emperor is dead. Who are you? What do you really want with me? Fucking old Sean Bean. My god. Let's see. You're, you're Martin, right? The priest. Yes. I'm a priest. Do you need a priest? I don't think I'll be much help to you. I'm having trouble understanding the gods right now. If all this is part of a divine plan... I'm not sure I want to have anything to do with it. There is a plan. We're part of it. Gods or not, we need your help. Yeah, we need your help, dude. If you came to me for help, you're more of a fool than you look. Look around. <laughs> what the what fuck are you saying? <laughs> He's like, you look like a dumbass, but you sound even more like a dumbass since you start talking. All right. You are Uriel Septim's son. Emperor Uriel Septim? You think the Emperor is my father? No, you must have the wrong man. I am a priest of Akatosh. My father was a farmer. The Daedra came here for you. The Emperor knew you were in danger. The Daedra came here for you. An entire city destroyed to get at me? Why? Because I'm the Emperor's son? Why would I lie to you? I don't know. It's strange. I, I think you might actually be telling the truth. Cross this God, he believed us. What do you want from me? All right. Come with me to Wayne and Priory. You destroyed the Oblivion Gate, they say. You gave them hope. You helped them drive the Daedra back. Yes. I'll come with you to Wayne and Priory and hear what Joffrey has to say. Lead on. All right. Great. We did it. Oh. I'm sorry. I don't think I'm going to be much help. Oh, okay. Here, let's ask about Kavach and yes. Martin. I followed the priest here. I'll be safe here, won't I? They can't come on holy ground, can they? <laughs> All right. H how about Martin? I'll never forget him. He saved as many as he could that terrible night. If only they'd listened and stayed with us in the chapel. Hmm. Okay. Be seeing you. All right. Now, can, can Martin actually come with us throughout the rest of this area here? Or do we actually need to run him back to, uh... The Priory. We may need to. 
Unless you need something, let's continue on to Wayne on Priory. Um, actually, you know what? Yeah, fine. Let, let's the go Wayne back to the Priory, Priory real then. quick. Here, let's, uh, let's roll on back up there. Oh, jeez. Alright. Let's see. Wayne and Priory, here we come, real quick. Let's see. Discuss the next thing. Boom. There we go. Hey, at least we can fast travel, right? <laughs> shit. Sorry, Savlin, you're, you're gonna have to hang on for a bit. Oh, shit! Help! You must help! They're killing everyone at Wayne on Priory. Oh, fuck, I forgot about this! Hold on, tell me what happened! I don't know. I think they're right behind me. Yeah, Brian he is! Manuel is dead! What? No! Oh, no, wait. Oh, oh yeah, 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 of course, yeah. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> the man, yeah, not the... <laughs> Not the fucking horse that I've taken to calling by the same name. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Fuck. Who's attacking Wayne and Priory? I was in the sheepfold when they attacked. I heard the prior talking to someone. Looked around the corner to see who it was. They looked like travelers. Ordinary. Suddenly weapons appeared in their hands, and they cut the prior down before he could move. They saw me watching, and I ran. My god. Where's Joffrey? Is he safe here? I don't know. In the chapel, praying, I think. You must help us. All right. Run! Don't stop running! Whoop. There we go. Oh, shit. Martin! Martin! Yep, I'm giving a hand. I'm giving a hand. Whoop. There we go. I like how this assassin is just, like, straight up screaming, like, ah! <laughs> Sorry! Sorry! This hammer is big! It's unwieldy! You might get some friendly fire! Oh, jeez. There we go! Oh, yeah! Look at Martin go! Damn! What a fucking ninja, dude! Alright. <sighs> Take some bread. <laughs> Delicious. Alright. Did, uh, did old What's-His-Butt make it? Old, uh, old dude who let me sleep in his house for a long-ass time? I think he did. He's not laying on, on the floor anywhere around here. Hey, he made it. Great. All right, let's heal up here real quick. My god, I completely forgot about this bit. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Oh, no! Oh, Prior Mabrel! Mabrel. Yeah, that's his name. <laughs> Fuck me. <laughs> oh, man. Poor guy. He'll live on through his horse. Hey, what's up, brother? God's blood! That came out of nowhere! <gasps> Have you seen Grandmaster Joffrey? No, I haven't. I don't know where Joffrey is. Erona said he was in the chapel. Quick! He may need our help. Yes, he may! God! He's got such glorious eyebrows. Let's go help him. Alright. Boom. Wayne and Priory. Alright. I'll take the one on the right. <laughs> I love how fucking calm he is as well. <laughs> Good lord. Survive. Oh, there we go. I do not fear, I do not fear death. <laughs> I do not fear death. Oh, I forgot about them saying that. But Lord Dagon, I do not fear death. Talos. <laughs> they attacked without warning. I was praying in the chapel when I heard Prior Maberell shout. I had just time to arm myself. The Amulet of Kings. I fear that was the target of this attack. I kept it in a secret room in Wainon House. Oh, shit. We need to go see if it is safe. All right, I'll go check on it. We'll go together. Oh, okay. But I fear the worst. He doesn't trust me yet. <laughs> All right. Sure. Hey, is there anything good in here? Can I... Oh, shit. I'm still cursed. <laughs> I'm still evil as hell. All right. You know what? Hey. Fight fire with fire. Makes a lot of sense, doesn't it? Doesn't make any fucking sense. All right. Let's see. Grab some of this. Boom. Quick save. Here the enemy came here for the amulet of kings. All right, come on, come on, you bald asshole. Let's go. Let's haul ass. Woo! They've already taken Prime Mabel. No more. No more on this day. Oh shit. Oh, there's no one else in here. Oh no, wait. Oh no. Yeah. Okay. You smell of death. Been conjuring up dead things. <laughs> yeah, and fighting a shitload of people. Hey, what's They've up? They've taken it. The Amulet of Kings is gone. The enemy has defeated us at every turn. Oh, no. They must have had a detect enchantment spell and just saw right through the fucking wall, you 
dumb old man! Damn you, Joffrey, you idiot! All right, I found Martin, though. He's safe. Look, at least I can do something. Jeez, come on. So it has not all gone against us. Thank Talos for that. We gained Uriel's heir and lost the Amulet of Kings. Martin cannot stay here. We have driven them off, but they will be back once they learn of Martin's survival. Which they will. Hmm, all right. Where will Martin be sick? You know, I gotta say, I also do love this guy's voice acting. A lot of the voice actors. Even the lady earlier who was like, <laughs> like totally, whoever the voice acting director was that day just totally did not tell her the notes to read it in a specific way. Or she's just real bad. But, uh, bad in an endearing way. All right, where will Martin be safe? Nowhere is truly safe against the power arrayed against us. But we must play for time, at least. Cloud okay. Ruler Temple, I think. The hidden fortress of the blades in the mountains near Bruma. A few men can hold it against an army. We should leave at once. Whoa, hold up, hold up. I'm not ready to go yet. Oh, jeez. Here, tell me about the Amulet of Kings. With the amulet taken by the enemy, we must get Martin to safety at Cloud Ruler Temple. Okay, here, if I click on Cloud Ruler Temple, is he going to follow me? We should get moving. I won't rest easy until Martin is safe at Cloud Ruler Temple. Okay, but how about this, fellas? Would you all want to... Oh. Oh, are you guys going on your own? Oh. Oh, okay. Okay, that's that's fine. That's fine. Here, let me quick save. As a blade, my place is at Martin's side. Okay. Tell me about the temple. Cloud Ruler Temple was built long ago by the founders of the Blades, back in the days of Raymond Cyrodiil. It is high in the mountains near Bruma, our ancient fortress, sanctuary, refuge of last resort. Martin will be as safe there as anywhere. Okay, sure. We should get moving. I won't rest easy until Martin is safe at Cloud All right, Roller all Temple. right. Let's see, is there anything good in here? Is this it, the Amulet of Kings? <laughs> no. <laughs> all right. Hmm, anything else good in here? No. All right, man, everybody's sort of jamming up the door here, though. All right. Anything we... Oh, shit, we still have a lot of uh, stuff left in his fucking chest, don't we? Oh, man. You know what? Here, I'll take all this. In between videos, I'll, uh, I'll take care of it. Let's see. Yoink, taking a bunch of pears, potatoes, pumpkins, radishes, flowers, rice, pulp, lotus seeds, scales. Oh, we even got some pies. Hey, are they going to mind that I'm taking back stolen stuff? They might mind. You know, now that I think of it, this might be a bad idea what I'm doing right now. <laughs> this might be really bad. Hey, they, they're they not going to attack me. Come on, I just helped them out. All right, here we go. Oh, they don't care. All right, fine. All right, let's head on out here. Are they going to follow me? Are they following me or are they going off on their own? Let's see. Let's take a look here. Oh, I think that, yeah, they're just going on their own. Okay. Yeah, you guys head on up there. I'll meet you guys. I'll meet you all there. Oh, fuck. Maybe I should go with them. Should I go with them? Oh, jeez. Hold up. How far is this? Hmm. I don't know. Yeah, I'll, I'll meet you guys up there. That's pretty damn far. Oh, wait. Are you guys taking a horse? Oh, shit. You guys are taking horses. All right, hang on. Hang on, I got- I, my horse is over here! My horse is over here, hang on! Hang on, everybody! Oh, jeez! Oh, gosh. This is such a rush of events. Oh, man, we should've waited to go back into Kavach. Oh, no, wait. Oh, they're coming with me! Oh, okay. Alright, do you guys want to go back to Kavach? Are you guys interested in that? Huh? Maybe we should go back to Kavach. We can help out the people there. You know, finish business there? Maybe that's exactly what we'll do before we head up there. Yeah, good idea, you two, right? Yeah, yeah, look, everybody's ready, everybody's excited, Sean Bean's excited, Joffrey's ex excited. <laughs> We're gonna have a wonderful adventure. Alright, when next we come back, we'll do that. Uh, in between videos, maybe I'll, I'll take these uh, these folks down, down to my secret pirate cave and uh, sell off some dumb shit. We'll see how that goes. And uh, for now, let us close out with a brief reading of The Brief History of the Empire, Volume 2. Yeah, it's a quickie. All right. A Brief History of the Empire, Part 2, by Stranach Cathoge III, Imperial Historian. Volume 1 of this series describes in brief the lives of the first eight emperors of the Septim Dynasty, beginning with the glorious Tiber Septim and ending with his great, 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 great grandniece, Kintiara II. Kintiara's murder in Glenpoint, while in captivity, is considered by some to be the end of the pure strain of Septim blood in the Imperial family. Certainly, it marks the end of something significant. Uriel III not only proclaimed himself Emperor of Tamriel, but also Uriel Septim III. 
taking the eminent surname as a title. In truth, his surname was Mantiarco from his father's line. In time, Uriel III was deposed and his crimes reviled, but the tradition of taking the name Septim as a title for the Emperor of, the, of Tamriel did not die with him. For six years, the War of the Red, of the Red Diamond, which takes its name from the Septim family's famous badge. Oh! Huh! Okay. Wow. All right. Good to know. Tore the em Empire apart. The combatants were the three surviving children of Pelagius II, Potema, uh, Sepphoris, and Magnus, and their various offspring. Potema, of course, supported her son Uriel III, and had the combined support of all of Skyrim and northern Morrowind. With the efforts of Sephiroth and Magnus, however, the province of High Rock turned coat. The provinces of Hammerfell, Somerset Isle, Valenwood, Elsewhere, and Black Marsh were divided in their loyalty, but most kings supported Sephiroth and Magnus. In the Third Era, 127, Uriel III was captured at the Battle of Ichidag in Hammerfell. En route to his trial, true to his trial in the Imperial City, a mob overtook prison, his prisoner's carriage and burned him alive within it. His captor and uncle continued on to the Imperial City, and by common acclaim, was proclaimed Sephiroth I, Emperor of Tamriel. Sephiroth's reign was marked by nothing but war. Wait, who was Sephiroth to him? Um, hmm, I'm not sure. He was some sort of a. Uh, I guess some sort of relation, brother, perhaps? But most kings supported Sephiroth and Magnus. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure exactly how, how he was related to uh, Watchesbud, who got burned. Yeah. Okay, Sephiroth's reign was marked by nothing but war. By all accounts, he was a kind and intelligent man. But what Tamriel needed was a great warrior. And he, fortunately, was that. It took an additional ten years of constant warfare for him to defeat his sister Potema. Oh, uh, okay. The so-called Wolf Queen of Solitude, who died in the siege of her city-state in the year 137. Sephiroth survived his sister by only three years. He never had time during the war years to marry, so it was his brother, the fourth child of Pelagius II, who assumed the throne. The Emperor Magnus was already elderly when he took the Imperial di Diadem and Diadem and the business of punishing the treacherous kings of the War of the Red Diamond drained much of his remaining strength. Legend accuses Magnus's son and heir Pelagius III of patricide, but that seems highly unlikely, for no other reason than that Pelagius was king of solitude following the death of Potema, and seldom visited the imperial city. Pelagius III, sometimes called Pelagius the Mad, was proclaimed emperor in the 145th year of the Third Era. Almost from the start, his eccentricities of behavior were noted at court. He embarrassed dignitaries, offended his vassal kings, and on one occasion marked the end of an imperial grand ball by attempting to hang himself. His long- wow, Jesus Christ, during a ball? His long-suffering wife was finally awarded the regency of Tamriel, and Pelagius III was sent to a series of healing institutions and asylums until his death in the Third Era 153, at the age of 34. The Empress Regent of Tamriel was proclaimed, Empress Kataria Kat uh, I, upon the death of her husband. Some who do not mark the end of the Septum bloodline with the death of Kintiara II consider the ascendancy of this dark elf woman the true mark of its decline. Her defenders, on the other hand, assert that though Kataria was not descended from Tiber, the son she had with Pelagius was so the Im imperial chain did not did continue. Despite racist assertions to the contrary, Kataria's 46-year reign was one of the most celebrated in Tamriel's history. Uncomfortable in the Imperial City, Kataria traveled extensively throughout the Empire, such as no emperor had since Tiber's day. She repaired much of the damage that the previous emperor's broken alliances and bungled diplomacy created. The, the people of Tamriel 
came to love their empress far more than nobility did. Kataraya's death in a minor skirmish in Black Marsh is a favorite subject of conspiracy-minded historians. The sage Montalius's discovery, for instance, of a disenfranchised branch of the Septim family and their involvement with the skirmish was a revelation indeed. Man, I'm surprised how much, um, how many run-ins uh, Dunmer have with uh, the Imperial throne, right? Huh, I wasn't aware of that. Right? We saw a lot of that with, um, what's her butt? Fucking, uh, Baron Zaya. And now with, uh, Kataraya. Huh. Interesting stuff. All right. When, uh, Cassinder assumed the throne upon the death of his mother, he was already middle-aged. Only half-elven, he aged like a Breton. In fact, he had left the rule of Wayrest to his half-brother, Uriel, due to poor health. Nevertheless, as the only true blood relation of Pelagius and thus Tiber, he was pressed into accepting the throne. To no one's surprise, the Emperor Cassander's reign did not last long. In two years, he joined his predecessors in eternal slumber. Uriel Lariat, Cassander's half-brother and the child of Cataria I and her imperial consort, uh, Galavir Lariat, after the death of Pelagius III, left the kingdom of Wayrest to the reign of Uriel IV, Legally, Uriel IV was a septum. Cassander had adopted him into the royal family when he become when he had become king of Wayrest. Nevertheless, to the council and the people of Tamriel, he was a bastard child of Cataria. Uriel did not possess the dynamism of his mother, and his long forty-three year reign was a hotbed of sedition. Uriel IV's story is told in the third volume of this series. Oh, damn. Okay. Interesting stuff. Huh. Yeah. I like uh, that we finally learned about a little, just a little bit about the uh, War of the Red Diamond, right? All right. Cool. Yep. Next time we'll continue reading the third one, then the fourth one. And you know what? Like I said, next time we come back, we will try to, uh, in between videos, I'll head to Dunbarrow Cove and see if these two follow. And maybe we'll try to go back to Kavach with them. I don't know. I think I've seen somewhere about them being, like, good companions because they're uh, marked as unkillable or something like that. To where they're actually good to carry around with you. But we won't make use of that too much. More so just because uh, it makes more sense in the plot right now that we do head back to Kavach and clean things up there. Right? Alright. Till next time! Oh, jeez. <laughs> Peace! Peace!